Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to push Docker image to GitLab registry. So as you can see, this is my GitLab account. And now we are going to learn how to push Docker image to GitLab registry. So first of all, so let's go to the official page. So here you can see in GitLab official page, you can see build and push image. So here we are going to build and push Docker image, right? So there are two ways to push Docker image to, uh, push, oh, sorry, Docker image push to GitLab registry. There is two types. First, install Docker on your instance. Uh, that means your GitLab runner. Uh, then second is here, you can see, you can use this Docker commands in your uh, .yaml file, you can see. So first of all, as you can see here, you, you need to configure your .gitlabs.ci.yaml file here. You need to add these lines, right? To build this image, then service, then step. You can see build, docker build, hyphen t, my docker image. That means here, if you want to build docker image, there is two, uh, two ways. First, you can install docker on your GitLab runner. And then next is you can use this code in your .gitlab ci.yaml file. You can see the your image name. You can see your .gitlab.ci.yaml should look similar to this. You can see image name and so on. Then services, then stage, and in script build your Docker image, and then you can see the image name and so on here. Okay. Here you can see your YAML file. First of all, your image, then stage build, then you can see, then script, Docker login, then CR registry, then Docker build, then Docker push, right? That means if you want to, if you don't want to install Docker on your GitLab runner, then you can use this second option. That means you can use this code on your dot uh, uh, git, uh, git, uh, dot gitlab dot ci dot yaml file to build and push docker image right but here in this session we are going to learn how to build and push docker image so here i'm going to install docker on my gitlab runner right so we are going to choose first option so let's install so first of all as you can see here in my command prompt as you can see here i have already installed dog oh, sorry uh, install GitLab runner. If I go to my home page, if I run the ls command, you can see GitLab runner, right? If you don't want, uh, sorry, if you don't know how to install GitLab runner, then you can use my article. So you can follow this article. Here you can see how to install GitLab runner on Ubuntu. So you can follow this. So here I have already installed docker uh, sorry gitlab runner now let's register our gitlab runner so how to register so first of all you need a gitlab registry so here as you can see i have already created one registry with the name push docker image to gitlab registry to push this docker image so here first of all you need a registry so as you can see in my registry as of now i have only one file right readme.md file so before uh, register GitLab runner, let's understand this image first to push GitLab, to push this image to GitLab runner. So let's understand first. So as you can see here, first of all, GitLab. So then here you can see, okay, wait. Here, first of all, we are going to push and commit our code in GitLab, then check out in CI CD, right? Then uh, check out with CI CD, then it will push this code into our GitLab regi container registry, right? Then, as you can see in Docker, the Docker, uh, the Docker code push to Git uh, CI CD, then it will push to GitLab registry. So, that's the overall that we are going to learn. Okay. 
so now let's start so first of all you need a registry gitlab registry so as you can see here my registry so now let's register our gitlab runner so how to register so first of all go to the settings as you can see in left side settings then go to the ci cd Then let's scroll down. And as you can see here, so runners, right? Click on expand. So here you can see these runner are assigned to this project. That means as of now, we don't have any runner, right? So click on new project runner. Then choose your operating system, Linux and then tag. So I'm going to enter. Then it's optional, it's also optional. So then click on create run. So as you can see, runner created. So now you can see the command to register your GitLab runner. So I'm going to copy the command and paste in my terminal to register my GitLab runner. So as you can see, enter the GitLab instance URL. So here is your URL. Here, the second one. Then it will ask about our token. So let's enter our token. Then enter name for the runner. So my runner will be then I'm going to choose shell. Okay. So you can see the message runner registered successfully. Okay. So let's go to the runner and let's wait for a few seconds. So now as you can see the message, you are created a new runner, right? So go to the runner page. That means we have successfully created our runner. So let's check. So let's expand our runners and let's check our runner. So as you can see our runner, you can see it's running. Assign project runner and it's running. Running is online. Okay. So let's inside the runner, click on edit. And I'm going to run the untagged job as well as up to current project and click on save changes okay so it's done right so we have successfully created our runner and we have successfully updated our runner now now let's push 
code in our registry. So here I'm going to use Node.js project that means package.json file, Docker file, as well as server.js file. So let's push this code into our repository, right? So first of all, we need to clone our repository. So here, as you can see, I already cloned my repository. You can see my repository folder in C drive. My folder name is push docker image to GitLab registry, right? And as of now, I have only one file with the name readme.md file. So here I'm going to use Node.js project, right? So here I have project, you can see I have some files. So I'm going to use this. So if you don't have, then you can clone my repository and you can use this project. Okay, now we have package.json file, docker file, as well as server.js file. So let's push this code into a repository and let's understand the code. So let's push this code first. So here I'm going to use this good bash, uh, git bash to push this code into a repository. So first of all, let's insert our repository. So my repository name is push docker image to GitLab registry. Then dot m in double quote our commit so my commit will be files added. Then get push. Okay, it's done. So let's check. So go to the code and click on repository. So as you can see our file, one minute ago, docker file, package.json file, as well as server.js file, right? Okay, so let's understand one by one. So first of all, let's understand package.json file. So I'm going to open my package.json file. So in package.json file, as you can see, first of all, name, version, description, author, and main is our server.js file, script, node.js, node server.js, and the dependencies, right? Okay. And then next is our Docker file here. So as you can see on Docker file, work directory and the package.json run npm install and 808 report and so on, right? Okay. And then Next is our server.js file. So here in server.js file, as you can see, our port is 8080 and the host is 0.0.0.0. That means any IP address, right? Okay. So that's our server.js file. So that's our Node.js project. Here you can see package.json file, Docker file, as well as server.js file. So now the next stage here, we need to add some variables here. So first of all, before adding variables, we need a, a tokens, right? So here, first of all, how to create tokens. So first of all, go to the settings and go to the repository. Then let's scroll down and as you can see, deploy tokens. Deploy tokens allow access to package your repository and registry image. So click on expand. 
and here we need to create token so enter a name so my token name will be docker image and it's optional it's also optional so i'm going to choose this all then click on create deploy token so as you can see here in gitlab official report official site you can see deploy token so how to deploy token you can see first of all clone your git repository then pull from push gitlab container registry okay here you can see username so username in the http authentication framework the default username format is like this and you can specify a custom username when you create the deploy token then token is password in the http authentication framework right so you can see project deploy token as well as group deploy token so project deploy token permission apply only for the project and group deploy token is permission apply to the all projects so here we are going to create this project deploy token that means it will permission apply only for this project so as you can see our token is created you can see so use this token as a password save it the password it cannot be recovered so that's why i'm going to copy my token name in my notepad as well as my token that's my token name and here is my token okay because you can see use this token as a password and save it this password cannot be recovered so that's why i'm going to save here okay so now go to the variables so we need to add some variables so go to the settings and then cicd then let's scroll down as you can see variables so you can see variables store information like password and secret keys and that you can use in your job script and each project can define a maximum 8000 variables right okay so now here we are going to add some uh, few variables so let's click on expand and click on add variables So the first variable is here. As you can see here, so first variable is we need to add this CI deploy user. That means our username. So I'm going to add my variable. is ci deploy user that means that username that we have created our token that means our token username so i'm going to copy my token username and paste in value section and i'm going to remove this protect variable flag and click on add variable then next variable is ci deploy password That means CI deploy password means our token that we have just created here. Then remove protect variable flag and click on add variable. Now the next is here as you can see CI registry. So how to find CI registry? So here as you can see in GitLab official page.
So as you can see in GitLab official page, authenticate the container registry, right? So you can see here to authenticate with container registry, you can use a personal access token, deploy token, project access token, and group access token, right? So here we need to find our CR, CR registry, right? How to add our variable in CR registry. So here in your settings, sorry, here in your left side, as you can see, deploy. So let's scroll, uh, click on deploy and as you can see, container registry. So let's click on container registry and let's find our CI registry. So you can see in your container registry, there are, there are no container image store as of now. Now you can see if you are not ready to log in and so on, you can see here, you can add an image to this registry with the following commands, right? So our CI registry is here, you can see our CI registry. from here to here registry.gitlab.com slash devops in kubernet slash our registry name right so that's our ci registry variable so i'm going to copy and go to the ci cd and then add our variable So that's the way to find our CR registry variable, right? If you don't know your CI registry, then you can go to the container registry and then you can find your CI registry. Sorry, so let's go to the variables and click on expand and let's add new variable. And the next variable name is CI registry. Remove this protect variable and add variable. Okay, so now we have successfully added three variables. First, CI deploy password, that means our token password, sorry, token, then CI deploy user, that means our token username, then CI registry, that means our registry. How to find? Go to the containers. Firstly, go to the deploy, then container registry, and then you can see your CI registry. Okay. So now let's create our .gitlab CI.yaml file. So let's go to the build, sorry, let's go to the code and go to the repository. Now here is my GitLab CI.yaml file. I'm going to copy this and let's understand. So first of all, I'm going to copy this. So here, so let's create our 
gitlab.ci.gitlab.ci.yaml file. So click on new file. So our file name is .gitlab.ci.yaml file and I am going to paste my file. Okay, so first of all, let's understand our code. So you can see firstly default before script, docker information, then stage, the two stage here, build and push. Then build docker image, here stage docker build and script is docker login hyphen u, CI deploy user, that means token username then ci deploy password that means our token that we have added in our variables and then ci registry that means our registry url the next is docker build hyphen t in our ci registry that means we are going to build this into our gitlab repository then next is push to registry so docker push then here you can see the script docker login hyphen u ci deploy user then hyphen p ci deploy password then ci registry then docker push into our gitlab registry url right that means ci registry that means our gitlab repository url that we have added in our variable right okay now let's commit and let's see our pipeline So let's go to the build and let's go to the pipeline. So our pipeline will fail. Let's check. You can see, fail. Why? Because we don't have Docker. Let's check the error. As you can see, docker command not found. Why? Because we don't have docker. So as I told you, here we have two types to push docker image to our GitLab registry. First of all, install docker on our GitLab runner. And then next is use this code here. You can see that code into our GitLab, uh, sorry, dot GitLab dot CI dot YAML file, right? So here we have we, we have choose the first option install Docker. So let's install Docker on our GitLab registry. So here is our registry. So if I click for Docker images version, you can see we don't have any Docker, right? So let's install Docker using this command. Okay, it's done. Then we need to give some permissions to our Docker. So which permissions? So here, first of all, this user mode. Next, 
practice this CHMO triple six permission. Okay, now it's done. Now let's rerun our job. So here is the retry. You can retry. So as you can see, our job is running. You can see the status is running. So let's check. So as you can see, our first job is succeed, right? That means Docker build. So we have successfully built our Docker image. Now let's check our second job, Docker push. So as you can see, it's running. So as you can see, our second job is running Docker push. So let's check. So it takes few seconds, so wait for few seconds. So as you can see, our second job, Docker push, its job succeed. As you can see, we have successfully run this job. You can see job succeed. That means you have successfully pushed this Docker image to our registry. So yeah, in CI registry variable, our registry URL. That means you have successfully pushed this Docker image to our CI registry. So here in this session, we have learned how to push Docker image to our GitLab registry using Docker. That means using Docker install in our GitLab runner, right? So thank you for watching.